What's up, superstars? Back with another video. You got Superstar Rob and you got Superstar Nation. How you guys doing? <clears throat> oh, guys, beating me up every single day. If you haven't already, don't forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the Superstar fam. Hit the follow notification button to get every single video, every single day. Also, to our VIPs, thank you so much for your support. It's $2.99 a month. Get star beside your name. Ask for our spreadsheets, giveaways. Guys, you can always reach out to us on X, Instagram, or Discord in the description below. Join our Discord. It is the Walmart. No, it is the mall of all Discords. You can find all your favorite projects in there, and you can always have a conversation with us and actually the rest of Superstar Nation, which ultimately is the best Discord utility of them all. Speaking of utility today, um, we're going to get right into it today. Today, I wanted to have a discussion about what can make really NFT so great. So many people are, we got to take a step back here, right? We've been in this space now for a couple of years. So many people are in this space. And the question is, why are they in this space? And a lot of them, quite frankly, were just attracted for financial gain. So they wanted financial gain in the NFT space. They wanted financial gain. They saw cryptocurrency being involved in it. They see true ownership of digital assets. They know something's going on. Then people are buying them for all sorts of different reasons. One of which made that you can own maybe the first NFTs on a certain blockchain, right? That could, that might, that might do it for some people. Utilities of different kind, but in the end, when you when it boils down to it, what's going to make NFT so successful in the future? The reason why people are here is for utility. Utility is truly the main reason why the masses will come to the NFT space. The main reason why people will own anything digital and want to own anything digital is for the utility that it can provide. So what I've done is I've put together a utility is king brainstorming session. And we're going to talk about this right now on all the different utilities that ultimately will make the NFT space the next big thing and bring in the billions that everybody's expecting. Um, and I'm just going to go through it. I mean, let's just brainstorm together. Like I'm just trying to connect the dots here and say, well, these are the utilities that I think are we're going to get access through NFTs. Is there any way that there's one company that could provide all of these utilities and that one company might be the company that we may want to really invest in in the future? The only problem is I don't think any one company does exist that can do all these things, but let's just quickly go through it. So why is utility king? Well, let's start off with the first example, play to earn. Play to earn games are available right now. You could go get games, you can win rewards, and then you get ownership of these NFTs that you can then sell. It is only really applicable if you can have true ownership of the digital assets in the games. So you play a game, you get something exclusive, then you can take that in your wallet and you can sell it to other players in the game. I think this is the gamification side and that like when, when everyone thought of Fortnite skins and all that, and they thought about how NFTs are going to change the world in games. Really, this is the traditional way that we think of it, where instead of buying, let's say, a skin for your Fortnite player and losing it the moment the game goes away using V-Bucks or whatever, uh, you'll actually uh, be able just to you know own that forever. It doesn't matter what happens to the game. And the idea in the future will be that you can then take this and apply it in future um, in future games that 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 developer may may roll out or potentially even another developer uh, may may roll out depending on how they're able to make it compatible. So that's one reason why I think that's one utility that I think is going to really bring in the masses. And if you can find you know companies that can do this utility, that's a good thing. Um, another thing are just obviously in-game bonuses or benefits. Uh, so you, as you're playing. You know, you're going to get, if you own this NFT, you know, maybe you own, let's say a Darth Vader NFT. Um, and because you own a Darth Vader NFT, you're going to get in-game bonuses and benefits because you own that character in that game. These are things that you want to see in digital collectible company. For example, uh, we see some of them out there, you know, you got Disney pinnacle where you're buying pins. It'd be fantastic. If they said, okay, well, if you have the whole set of the star Wars pins, you're going to get access to this in-game benefit could be anything. It could be, maybe you can watch, you know, something special. It could be that you get exclusive access to another drop. McFarlane does this all the time. If you own a certain entity, you're going to get physical discounts. Um, so I, that's something that we like to look out for when it comes to uh, finding an NFT project or reasons why NFTs will be so popular and gain so much market share in the future. 
Um, also, interoperability, any cross-platform integration is very, very good. We've seen people trying to do this with, for example, ClickPlay. Uh, they got the Brats coming out. They're looking to be being a lot like trying to allow you to take your Brats all out of the app and use it in other applications or at least sell it in other applications. Um, you have McFarland that allows you to actually export out 3D files of your dragons where you can bring it to other platforms. I think as we continue to storm, you know, as we go into the future, I think what we're going to find is more and more companies providing actual 3D files uh, to the NFTs that you own so that you could take them off platform. McFarland's whole, whole concept, as an example, is uh, dApps. They're gonna they're waiting for other developers to make things that you could take their stuff and bring it in as long as it has a skeleton, um, or any or a gaming engine or something, a gaming company to come and use that stuff. So we think that as the future continues, I mean, as we go into the future and we if the space continues to evolve, you're gonna see more and more of that. Um, and then lastly, you got staking and yield farming. You got crypto is talking a lot about this, how they want to do um kind of just like passive gaming. Where and this is all over mobile apps. Like you're playing, let's say a game, you could be actively playing it, but there's also ones where you go. Maybe there's like a little house. You station your guy in that house. He does some mining for four hours. You come back four hours later. You do another task. Those games are extremely popular. I mean, with NFTs, the beauty of it is you can stake your NFT for some kind of benefits, and maybe you can even stake your NFTs for some kind of yield, uh, some kind of payment um, that might be worth some real value. Uh, in the uh in the marketplaces that that are around i mean it's hard to come up with an exact example in yield farming but in a traditional sense it'd be like staking your coins and getting a di uh, some kind of payout or dividend for it so these are all things that you know you, i mean it's kind of all jumbled up but these are all things that we're just brainstorming here and that was just one example of some massive utility there's also virtual real estate when we think about what can make the space great everyone thinks of these massive metaverses can you imagine you actually can own land in a metaverse and you could find ways to monetize that land in virtual cities? The problem is that there needs to be an ecosystem in that city. The city has to be worthwhile to use. There has to be reasons for people to go into this metaverse city to do things. Gaming is one of them, but it could be just a social environment. You can go to hang out and talk with your friends. And in that case, you can monetize land. For example, advertisers might say, well, your land's kind of like in a downtown area that gets a lot of volume. We're going to pay you for a monet. We're going to help. Uh, we're going to pay you, you know, for a billboard, for example, in that digital space. And you can actually own and have assigned ownership to that digital space. You could also build games. Like an example would be, um, you see this with some other ones like Roblox, I guess, um, I, where you can actually build your own little, uh, or Minecraft, whatever it's called. You build your own little games. Um, and then you could maybe have people on your land, pay you to visit your land. You can decorate your land maybe with beautiful art. And people think it's so cool. They want to show up in the metaverse with their VR goggles and experience that. So I think we're going to see a whole ecosystem in the future with virtual real estate and companies that provide virtual real estate that offer that service. There's something to watch out for. Obviously, if you have layers, you have, if you have virtual real estate and you got played earn gaming, those are the kind of layer utilities that we want to see in the future. And again, I, I'm not sure there's one company yet that we at least follow that has all these things. Uh, there's obviously digital identity. So one thing is identifying people using NFTs. You know, we have Starboys. Our Starboy NFTs assigns ownership to like a bunch of people. Um, so we're able to know who owns our stuff. And then when we do giveaways, we're able to reward those people, um, which is an example on that a little bit later. Um, but it could be used for any kind of identification. It could be a company, you know, Disney, for example, let's say if you own one of their NFTs, maybe they're going to give you park benefits. You could also create scarcity reward holders from it. Uh, because you're going to say, okay, only a thousand people are going to have this NFT. And then those a thousand people are going to be rewarded as time goes on. Gold Dragon Club on VV, they do that a lot. Whoever owns the Gold Dragon from Scott Tolleson, they provide it with utility. And then I think one thing, this is especially true with uh, celebrities. I think we saw this on the football side. Can't remember the name of the player, but access to exclusive content or experiences. If you could get access to like, let's say, you know, you know one-on-one -on -one time with a f your favorite celebrity exclusive concerts, I think you heard it with Snoop Dogg and Sandbox. Like if you can get exclusive content or experiences and these NFTs gate it, that's going to bring utility to NFT. That's going to make it worth valuable. That'll be make it, that'll make it worth some, some actual value in the future because people are getting utility from it. And that offer could be anybody, it could be a company or an individual, depending on what that exclusive content it will be. I think royalties is obvious. I think NFTs are really going to, I mean, I think, you know, companies love this. We know that I companies with big IP like Disney love this. 
you can create an NFT with a contract that gives you royalties every single time it's sold. Like that's amazing. So if you you're actually incentivized to bring utility to NFT because you're going to make money every single time it's sold. So these smart contracts ensure royalties are paid no matter what every sale. And I think that's going to be a massive, massive, massive benefit in the future that will continue to evolve the NFT space. And the ones that are available right now, you, know, you see pudgy penguins right now with their NFTs, how much they're worth, how they actually pay out royalties. If there's, if the physical item sold in Walmart, I mean, it, it, you could, it's endless what you can do with the royalty side with NFTs. There's fractional ownership. I saw this. This is great by the way, with high value assets, you know, it could be, let's say a, uh, a card, like, you know, a Pokemon card that's worth a ton of money. Well, you could sell NFTs for that Pokemon card and you get ownership of that card. So when it's resold, you're going to get a percentage of that sale. Um, another one is just community engagement and, and voting rights. We've heard about this before communities creating, Oh, I can't remember them actually right now. It's called the, um, uh, it starts with a D but they've created a voting system where the more of the, the more NFTs you own of a certain collection, the more voting rights you would get. So not everybody has an equal voice, but those who are heavily invested in that project will get a little bit more voting rights than others. It's kind of like shares if you think about it. Um, and that helps with the community engagement as well. When you know, if you have fractional ownership in some kind of asset, you're going to have a community form around that who are going to want to speak to each other. Maybe they'll have a discord group chat. Who knows? Uh, so that is why NFTs are so great because you can actually assign true factual ownership to a group of people for any given asset. Um, supply chain is a small one. I just found this on Google. Um, but people are talking about using NFTs now to actually track goods, you know, shipping, uh, all those things where you kind of have things automated in such a way that you can't really fudge the numbers right now. It's kind of localized, but imagine decentralizing it at the end of the day, our shipping, uh, tracing our shipping system is sort of a centralized system. So it's just decentralizing that system to make it uh, a little bit more um, secure. Um, content monetization. This is a big one. So membership tokens. So we are content creators. We have Starboys. Uh, we've done another project with the Fanny Packs. We use these projects in order to run our giveaways. And I think this is something that every content creator needs to consider because you can really help improve the reward system on your channel if you use NFT technology. And lastly, lastly to tokenized real world assets. I talked about this in another video. 2024 is going to be a big year for this. A lot of like, you know, decentralized finance, a lot of people considering even the bond market with this kind of stuff. So real estate, art, collectibles, you know, intellectual property, everything could be used to tokenize real world assets. And that's going to help change our financial markets and how things are done. And keep, it makes things possible that weren't possible before where before you have to trust a centralized system. Now you can break this down to true ownership in your wallet and you could just transfer ownership easy. Sometimes the way banking system works, things are slow. There's fees. It's it's not as easy sometimes when it comes to trading, let's say a fractional, I don't know, one bond. Like I, I did a video on this previously, how there's, you can actually like shares, you could go fractional on some of these things so that if you want to trade them quick, you don't have to go through the, you know, the weekend, let's say things close. So this is a benefit of the cryptocurrency in general, you know, never closes. The markets never close. Right. So it's the same thing with some of these financial products. Instead of waiting, you, you don't have to necessarily wait for markets to open up or, you know, for the weekend end, you can make trades uh, nimbly and quickly if you use NFT technology because the ownership is assigned. So like this is, a, I mean, it's not all utility. I'm sure you guys can come up with some more and let me know in the comments below. But the point that I'm trying to make is that let's not lose sight of what makes NFT technology so powerful. Let's not lose sight of why NFTs will change the world in the future. Let's not lose sight of why hundreds of billions of dollars of market share are expected to go into the NFT space over the next decade. It's because of all of the utility that it can provide, of all of the use cases that it can provide, of all the ways it can really, this is a big one, be re-monetized, ways that people can profit from it. When people can profit from something, that will increase its value because it becomes a bit of an investment. And ultimately, utility will be the driving force behind the entire NFT space. So when you continue to think about why you're in this space and how you want to maneuver this space going into the future, 
you really do need to consider about the utilities that will come as time goes on. If you're dedicated to a certain, let's say, investment, I mean, none of this is financial advice. It's my opinion, though, that you really got to open your eyes to what are the utilities that will come because there's tons of speculation on this stuff. But the question you have to ask yourself is you own some kind of digital asset. Are you sure? Are you sure you're really going to be able to use this digital asset in any of the capacities that I just mentioned? Or do you just own a JPEG that you, you will literally own the JPEG? There's no utility to it. Like, what do you have with that JPEG? Do you even really own it? Do you even actually own it? Or do you just own a license to it? You know, like there's, there's so many layers of questions on a case by case basis. I think people really need to take a step back and really think and consider about what they're buying. And if they're buying it for speculation reasons that do not exist, I would hope that there's at least some evidence that there will be for sure some kind of future utility added to whatever they're buying so that there could be a, a, an improvement in the value of it if they're buying it for value reasons. So, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, me personally, ideally, I want to be in NFT projects where I see a future. I see a growth in utility. I could see maybe gamification coming. I can see maybe virtual real estate being in, in a way where, you know, socially or whatever, it'll be popular. And perhaps I can leverage that. Um, digital identities is a big thing. How, what kind of utilities can I get if I own this specific NFT? What kind of benefits and exclusive access may I get by owning it? That's important. Royalties is a big one. If you have your own NFT product, set them up so you get royalties. If you, it, this is why you know people love companies, especially love this fractional ownership of everything. It could be of something physical or digital. It doesn't matter, but just be careful with that because if you buy a fractional ownership of, let's say, a Pokemon card. Well, are you sure that who you're buying it from is going to actually be the custodian of it, right? You, there's a there's a certain level of trust here. When you buy something that someone's going to hold, so in the physical side, if someone's going to own a physical card for you, and they're going to be the custodian of it, and you're going to give them money, and they say, yeah, you have ownership of it, but they're in full control of it, you really have a lot of trust in them that they will not abuse it in a way that will work against you. Um, again, supply chain, that's going to be a big thing automated through actual you know, decentralized ledger recording, um, content monetization through content creators like this ourselves, uh, how we use Starboys and tokenized real world assets. Watch out for that, guys. 2024, you're going to be seeing a lot more of that. So, guys, I mean, bit of a, you know, utility video today. I really, really want to talk about all the things that I hope for in the future and the utilities. They all kind of exist in some capacity, but I'm waiting for one company to really grab all those utilities and kind of bring them all together into one. And that really will be like, wow, like these guys have it all. Um, so let me know in the comments below your thoughts. And guys, if you haven't already, don't forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the superstar fan, hit the bell notification button to get every single video, every single day. And also thank you to our VIPs, tune in a month, stop beside your name, after spreadsheets, giveaways. Guys, thank you. Take care. We'll see you next one. Bye-bye.